Um, well, really, it's a question of flexibility and efficiency, which is the same reasons it's been versus Intelco for the last 20 years, and we are kind of the de facto standard from a database technology perspective. database um, we we allow you to uh, augment some of that uh, traditional sort of join operations through uh, what we call navigation that occurs in the client space and that allows you to achieve scalability um, through architecture in ways that are uh, not impossible but more difficult to achieve with relational technology Versant uh, is a technology running some of the world's largest options trading platforms, and uh, we've been doing that for you know for quite some time now. And you start to see those kinds of transactional loads. Where you're talking about hundreds of millions of transactions uh, a day, um, you know, coming into the telco providers. So because we manage identities in the application space and let you um, use these uh, what we call LOIDs, logical object identifiers, to move from one object to another, instead of actually having to calculate joins at runtime, um, you can distribute objects across lots of physical nodes and use that to scale out uh, your infrastructure as the amount of data grows in your application space. products and services and stay competitive, uh, they need a technology that can allow them to adapt and deliver those things uh, with high quality um, and, and with quick turnaround. And object databases have always clearly been um, giving the telco providers the sort of lowest impedance mismatch to help them deliver on those services. One common example, um, uh, Verizon, who uh, builds uh, fraud detection systems for their networks on the version database. Um, they have this kind of challenge where they're taking in all of these events that are coming in off the network from a different calling cards being used, etc.
you see, um, you know, you see uh, basically the telco is becoming the clearinghouse for, um, for financial transactions. I mean, somebody walks up to, uh, um, you know, to fix an appliance at a house and they fix the appliance and when they go to pay the guy, they, you know, they, they hold their cell phones up to each other and transact right there, real time, and transfer the funds from one guy to the next. objects and other physical nodes to be then automatically pulled into the cache and it all looks like it's all seamlessly connected together as if it's one in memory model yet it's actually physically distributed across lots of nodes uh, to give you scalability and that's a very unique thing that um, is, is really only offered in object database technology. Really interesting things happen in terms of what's um, being required and what's being, uh, you know, of, of the telco providers and what's being demanded of their networks. And it really requires a technology like Versant to enable them to deliver that kind of quality service under that kind of load. And uh, is done particularly well in Versant uh, because of the way that we uh, manage things under under high concurrency through um, you know low level um, isolation of interactions um, through basically record level the equivalent of record level locking uh, object locking which is uh, a unique property of the Versant implementation of an object database.